Decred's new atomic swap based decks called Bison Wallet was officially released in September much to the joy of the Decred community. Now, if you've been following me or Decred on Twitter, you'll surely have seen some of my content where I show off and talk about Bison Wallet. But if you're new here, let's recap what it is and why it's important. Bison Wallet is a rebrand of DCR Dex version 1. It allows for trustless trading between different blockchain assets using smart contracts called atomic swaps. When you enter into an atomic swap with someone, the trade either happens or it does not. All trades occur on chain. Bison Wallet just coordinates the trades and never takes custody of your funds. You run your own native wallets and nodes to ensure the process is trustless. A big part of the Bison Wallet release is the addition of popular stablecoins like USDT and USDC on the Polygon network, which allow for ultra low fees and quick confirmations. Bison Wallet also introduces built in market making and arbitrage bots where users can potentially earn profit by making the order books. And finally, Bison Wallet has its own installer. It's super easy to set up and get going, making it so even the most novice users can start trading using atomic swaps. So join the decentralized revolution and start trading on Bison Wallet. One of my favorite things about being a part of Decred is watching it improve year after year, thanks to its robust governance systems and self-funding treasury. This includes ongoing work for Bison Wallet. Recently, there was a new DEX proposal approved on Decred's proposal platform, Politeia. Decred stakeholders just approved a new DEX proposal to continue maintenance, support, and to work on new features for the DEX. Some highlights of the new DEX proposal include the creation of a Bison Wallet Discord and Telegram for community support and just general community discussion, funding for marketing efforts, including more Bison code drops in the real world, mesh network support, meaning a mesh of servers displaying orders on one order book, a new enhanced privacy atomic swap protocol, new EVM contracts will cut swap fees in half, market maker upgrades including Coinbase and Kraken support, UI work, and continued bug squishing support and maintenance. Also included in the proposal is a new Bison Wallet website. It's a big proposal, I suggest reading it in full at proposals.decred.org. The voting conclusion was 88.6% voter approval, with over 29,000 votes cast, a 72% voter turnout. Further DEX updates on GitHub include fix connecting via Tor, add volume minimums and sanity checks for Oracle rates on market makers, for the client update the Furo minimum version, changing the native Polygon asset from Matic to Pull, fixing the number of minor UI issues, the client and database will prune archived orders when there are more than 1,000 orders. This will be configurable. Z Classic will be disabled. This does not delete the Z Classic work. It just disables it until there is some sort of comeback for its markets. Orders are now automatically revoked for down servers or closed markets. And for Ethereum, add the Matic token and other minor fixes and tweaks to the backend, market makers, and other items. Now let's look at other Decred development updates. Decred's main GUI wallet to Crediton is in the process of importing all of the new DEX assets to be officially updated to version 1. In the meantime, I strongly suggest all users download Bison Wallet in order to trade on the DEX. Looking at DCRD, Decred's fully validating node, the NetSync Manager reworked block announcement handling to keep track of the best known block announced by each peer as determined by having the most cumulative proof of work. There are also improvements for peer tracking for requested blocks. DCR Wallet, the daemon handling Decred Wallet functionality had improvements to the way coin mixing and VSP clients operate, including tidying up creation of VSP clients, using correct amounts for mixed ticket split transactions, always using configured voting accounts when mixing, and making VSP clients respect Tor network configurations. For DCR data, the markets page is being updated to show USDT price and volume on Binance and MEXC, which will provide users with more insightful market information. Bison Relay, Decred's peer-to-peer -peer communication platform running on Lightning Network, has a new release. Bison Relay version 0.2.2 .2 includes a full redo of material theming for the GUI. This will make all future changes or additions to themes extremely easy and ensures that no unintended inconsistencies throughout. There's also a QR code creator and scanner for the mobile version that should improve the way in which user invitations can be shared. Other improvements include new functionality to save and share PDF files from chat windows, New functionality to list all downloads and also have the ability to cancel selected downloads. Posts now show their true creation timestamps instead of the time in which they were fetched by the client. Bug fixes include fix syncing progress bar to properly show percentage to complete, show password errors on unlock screen, fix text attachment rendering, fixing the shutdown flow so restarting after changing settings works properly on Windows. And now for community updates. 
Phoenix Green has continued his video content including the weekly Decred Today live streams. Decred Brazil has been pushing out more content promoting Decred in the new Bison Wallet decks. Phoenix Green and J.K. Okampai were on the Bitcoin Takeover podcast where they talked for three hours about Decred and various crypto topics. The exchange is the next frontier. What you have is this lovely peer-to-peer -peer system that Bitcoin's created where you can, you and I, Vlad, can, I can check, send you some money, you can send me money, and nobody gets in the middle. There's no rent seekers, there's no people kind of um, inserting themselves in, in the middle of that. And the thought process was, why should exchange be any different? Why should we be giving funds? Why should we be um, letting the, the coin base of this world kind of sit in the middle of every single exchange? pushing the market left and right. Why can't we make our own markets? Which is people can now set up their own wallets. They can put trades into a, into a pair and they can atomically swap with somebody else without needing a middleman, without needing to pay fees, um, without needing some kind of exchange token or anything like that. It really is currently the best version that we could have for an exchange that, that resembles what Bitcoin was originally trying to build, which was this peer-to-peer -peer exchange of value. Cramble also created some nice Bison Wallet marketing content. Centralized exchanges are no different than banks. They demand your identity, your data, your trust. You are nothing more than a customer in their walled garden. Traditional exchanges track your every move, exploit your data, and demand trust you cannot afford to give. Bison Wallet's foundation lies in the principles of decentralization and privacy. With no registration, no KYC, and no tracking, you trade in a way that respects your right to financial privacy. With Bison Wallet, the power is finally back where it belongs, in your hands. Thanks for watching this Decred News Update. Be sure to check out Decred.org to learn more about the project.